The business judgment rule protects corporations and their directors against frivolous lawsuits. Under this rule, courts assume that corporate directors act based on the best interests of the company and its shareholders unless proven otherwise. The Delaware Court of Chancery considered the boundaries of this rule as applied to stock option plans in Ryan v. Gifford. Maxim Integrated Products Incorporated designed, developed, and manufactured circuits for certain types of electronic equipment. Maxim's shareholders approved a stock option plan permitting the company's board to grant stock options as long as they were priced no lower than their fair market value on the day they were granted. On several occasions between 1998 and 2003, Maxim granted options to its founder, CEO, and chairman John Gifford. However, according to an analysis conducted by Merrill Lynch, nine of Gifford's stock option grants occurred on the date of Maxim's lowest stock price of that month or year, which raised suspicions. Merrill Lynch concluded that either Maxim's directors were significantly talented at gauging the best dates for these transactions or the directors were backdating the stock option grants to make the dates as favorable as possible for Gifford. Walter Ryan, a Maxim shareholder, filed a shareholder derivative suit based on Merrill Lynch's report. The suit alleged that Maxim's directors, including Gifford, had breached their duty of loyalty to Maxim's shareholders by deliberately backdating Gifford's stock option grants in violation of the stock option plan approved by the shareholders. Additionally, Ryan's complaint alleged that Maxim's directors made fraudulent disclosures. The complaint further alleged that the directors had made false disclosures to mislead shareholders into believing that the directors had applied the shareholders' approved stock options plan. The directors moved to dismiss for failure to state a claim, arguing that Ryan's allegations were insufficient to rebut the business judgment rule.